Hi, I'm Cynthia from Arbis.com and I would like to show you this beautiful stitch called Selene stitch. So let me show you how to do this. The Selene stitch is a very beautiful stitch. It does look complicated, but it's not as complicated as you think. If you know Pioli stitch, um, you will find it pretty easy to follow. And if you know the tubular Pioli stitch, it will be even easier. But if you don't know any of those techniques, well, just watch the way how I do it. I'm using now a KO thread, especially for this bangle, because I feel like it's sturdier for this particular shape. So here I have different shape and colors of seed beads. I have the first one is an 15 art. The three other colors are 11. And then the last one is an eight. So let's start to do this beautiful stitch. So you start by picking up four of the 15 art. So three and four. Then you pick up two of each 11 art, like that, and two of the eight art. And you can see here, I start to have my pattern here, like from the gold one to the big one. And then the colors repeat on the other side. So I'm gonna add here the colors that goes on the other side. So I'm starting with this blue, two of these, two of the peach, and two of the turquoise. And here, because, because I already have four, I don't need to add two more. So you slide all your beads at the end of the thread, and you want to leave a good um, tail, about six inches or more, because you will want to weave this thread in the in your project at the end. So now I'm going back through all the beads. Like that, so you need to go all in every single one. That. And keep going. Like that, and I'm coming back to the beginning. Like that, but let me switch and move my bit this way. I'm gonna go back again in the 15 out and end up here at the first one. Like that. So now let's start doing the purely stitch. So you grab a 15 out. So this is the trick. You look at the bead and you think, okay, my next color will be the blue one. But in fact, you have to pick up the color that, that you came out of because you want to create a spiral. So here I came out of the gold color, so I'm picking up the 15 odd gold one. So I'm skipping a bead and I go to the second bead right here, like that. Now again, don't think you're gonna pick up the peach one. No, you're picking up the turquoise bead. So let's pick up one, I'm skipping one bead here, and I go to the second one. Okay, now I pick up peach one, again, skip that bead and go to the second one. Do the same. Picking up that blue, skip that bead, and go to the second. Oop. There we go. Now I'm picking up the big one, skip the first bead, and go to the second one here. Like that. You see, I almost pick up a peach one, but now I have to pick up a blue one. Skip this one, go to the second. That, grab a peach one. Skip this one. First, go to the second bead, like that. Let me bring my tail in the back. There, so I'm picking up a blue bead. Now that's pretty small. And I need to find the second bead right here. Like that. 
So now I'm picking up a gold bead. And this is what we're going to do is a step up. So you have to skip that bead and go in the second one. And at the same time, you're going to go through the first bead that is up here. Let me try again. They're so small. And pick up like that. So you did a step up here. I'm turning a little and I start to pull a little harder and it will start to go um, as a circle. So I was coming out with the gold bead, so I'm picking up a gold bead. Skip this one and go in the second bead. And you pull on it a blue bead and go in the second bead. So now it's much easier because the second bead is up, so it's easy to just know where your needle is going to go. You just have to be careful of the colors you need to pick up next. That, so you can see I'm turning up, so it starts to make a circle here. Like that, pick up this one, go on the bead that's up. And I keep going like that and off like we did in the first, the second round, sorry. We're going to do a step up again. We're almost there. Like that. Skip up a bead, second bead. And this is where I'm going to do my step up. So I'm going to go through that bead and then the one that is up here and you pull tight. So let me do some rows and then you will see how it's coming. So always remember to skip a bead and go to the second one. And really always make sure that you pick up the right colors. I like to bead in front of the TV and I made several mistakes several times. Um, picking up my color. So here I'm doing the step up. I'm skipping this bead. I'm going in the second bead here and go to the one that is up in here too. Like that. Come from the gold. So now you can see better that is starting to shape up like a tube, like that. And that's all you do. You just pick up a bead, skip a bead, and keep going. And then you end up with this really beautiful uh, bangle here. So I want to show you how to finish this bangle. It's not difficult, but you have to pay attention. And the first thing you want to do is to align you beads together. So I finished here coming out to the bigger, uh, the biggest bead, which is the eight art. And I'm going to align here, try to find where I can align it with the other bead on the other side. So you just have to play with it like that. And I also like to flat a little my tube that makes things much easier. So the color is going to go like that. So let me hold this. I already have a needle on that side. And so I'm coming out this way. The first stitch is, of course, always the most difficult one, but then it will be easier like that. So I'm going to come out in this bead after the 11 art. And I want to stitch on the other side of it, Oop, like that. So I'm going to stitch in this one here. Like I said, it's, it's a little tricky at the beginning, but 
it will come easily after you do a few stitches like that so I'm going to go back on that bead where I just did it the first time and tie it you see it start to get together so then I'm going to go to the next bead up and here like that and then you can see okay where do I put where do I go through let's see I'm gonna go through this one here like that and when you tie it the beads gonna meet together like that and I'm gonna go back in that bead like that so turn and really flat a little to make sure that the beads are all together so now let's go to the pitch one Oop. so you kind of sewing as a, a zigzag if i can say that like that so that's all you do you go to one side to the other side like that and it will get it will sew together and then you just uh, when you're done doing the whole circle you just take your thread and you can just weave your thread inside the other beads you you weave inside like that cut your thread and you have this beautiful bangle bracelet so I hope you enjoy um, this technique called the Selene stitch and um, I hope you will have fun, make some great bangles too. So thank you very much for watching.